everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Moira, and oh my god, look at that background. <laughs> So as you can tell from the title right now, this video is going to be my room review! <laughs> okay, kinda took a while to get here, that's why I didn't really post that much videos in the past weeks because makeovers do take time, effort, money. Oh. But anyways, I am so so happy with the result and I'm so excited to share it with you guys But before we get into the reveal, I still did a few DIYs And of course, I also did some decorating to put this whole room together Okay, so without further ado, let's jump right into the video So I used to have the display cabinet which just had a lot of clutter inside and I wanted to conceal it. So first I painted it off white to go well with the theme of the room and then I took out the glass and spray painted it with pink. I did two coats and it didn't have to be perfect because it kind of gave off mercury glass effect. And then I'm just going to put them back in and now this is a nice way to display some pictures. So I'm just putting my calendar here and a few pictures memories that I've gathered throughout the years and also another tip to upcycle a piece of furniture is to change the knobs it's so easy and inexpensive and it's definitely a quick fix So I bought this computer table online which had a dark brown color and I painted it white to go again well with the theme of the room and then I'm just going to style it. So first off is this new vanity mirror that I got from Vanity Mirror Manila and then I'm just putting my makeup storage and some pens on the side since this will also act as my study table. And then when styling, make sure to use the various heights so that it still looks nice. Now I'm just adding more decorative pieces and stuff that I use every day. And then I'm adding my white drawer since I needed more storage and just adding a chair and a throw pillow and I'm done. So I first hung up all the pictures that I already owned and I also had a layout for this so that I will be guided and now I'm just doing a few DIY pieces that I wanted to add like this one I don't think you can see it but I'm drawing a girl in a dress and wait for it I'm going to be using <gasps> sequins I love sequins so much and I'm using it to outline her dress and I thought it looked pretty cute and super cool and next, this isn't really a DIY, but I just hung up a letter that I got from my best friend back in high school. And I just wanted to show you that memories can also be a nice display. And then this is a quote that I handwritten. And yes, I am using makeup to add more color to it because I didn't really want to watercolor anymore. And it's so much easier. Now I'm drawing a face. Um, this is pretty easy. I just got some inspiration off of Pinterest and again I'm using makeup to make up her face this is so much easier than using watercolor and it's so much fun as well and you can definitely play around and experiment with it more for the last one I'm just taking my marker and kind of drawing a background because again don't want to use watercolor and i'm just writing a quote that says a million dreams are keeping me awake thumbs up if you know where that quote is from and now it's just time to hang the pictures so the for the first one i actually hung it above my vanity setup because i felt like something just needed to be put there and then I'm just hanging up all the other frames and I'm finally done with my gallery wall. It looks so pretty and I'm so happy with the result. Now,
now it's time to take a shelfie so i'm going to style this shelf by using dolls collectibles figurines books anything that's coincidentally also in the color palette you can also add some symmetry just like i did with this box and a bag and also i'm adding my instax because i think everyone displays their instax and then i'm going to be adding some books that are also in the color palette just make sure to have a few negative spaces so that it's not too cluttered and then i'm just adding a few more decorative pieces like this super cute tape dispenser that's a stiletto as well and yeah now i'm just going to clean it and we're done Finally, for the final touches, so first I'm putting up this new curtains and I'm just checking to see if it's symmetrical in the mirror. And then for the bed, I changed it to all white and I'm just adding two throw pillows to add a little bit of color. So I got this purple furry one from the Fur Factory. I'm also adding a beautiful gold one that I got from Mandawi Foam. And the third one is something that I also got customized as well. And then I'm just adding a stool by the door so that I can put my school bag on it whenever I get home so that it's very easy. And finally, the last thing that I'm adding to this room is this beautiful rug that I also got from the fur factory. <laughs> New rug. <laughs> um, so I think my room is done. What do you guys think? it for this video i really hope you guys enjoyed this whole transformation makeover series whatever but of course this series is not yet done next week i'm going to be posting my room tour which is so exciting it's going to be more in depth and if ever you haven't watched the previous videos, I'll be sure to link them down below. And yeah, I'm really, really happy with my new room. It's so nice. <laughs> Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to hit subscribe. And also click that notifi notification bell. <laughs> and click the notification bell so that you're updated whenever I post a new video. Thank you, thank you so much for watching and oh my god, look at my And I hope to see you next time. Bye!